In this video, we will look at a very important trick we can use to solve equations that have fractions in the problem. We will clear the fractions using a nice little trick. If the equation has a fraction in it, we can clear the fractions or get rid of them by multiplying each term by the least common denominator. The advantage of this is, after showing that multiplication, we can reduce our LCD with the denominators to get an equation with no fractions in it. If there's no fractions in the problem, then it will solve like any other linear equation. Let's take a look at an example. In this problem, 5 sixth x minus 1 third equals 7 halves, the fractions might make this difficult to solve. So what we will do is get rid of the fractions by multiplying each term by the least common denominator. We have denominators of 6, 3, and 2. The least common denominator of those three values is 6. So what I will do is I will show this multiplication by 6 on each and every term on both sides of the equation. The advantage of this is we will be able to reduce these 6's with the denominators. In the first fraction, 6 over 6 reduces to 1, simply by dividing 6 by 6. Now I have 1 times 5x. Well, 1 times 5x is just 5x. Minus, in the second fraction, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now this reads 2 times 1, which is just 2, equals 6 divided by 2 is 3, and now our problem reads 7 times 3, which is 21. Notice this has given me a new equation with no fractions in it, because all the denominators reduced with the LCD. We can solve this quickly, then, by adding 2 to both sides, giving us 5x equals 23, and then finally, by dividing both sides by 5 to get our final answer, x is equal to the fraction 23 fifths. Let's try this with another problem. In this problem, if we want to get rid of the fractions, we'll multiply everything by the least common denominator of 8, 2, and 4. The least common denominator there is 8, and so we will multiply each term by 8 on both sides of the equal sign. Notice this also includes the 5, which is not a fraction. I didn't say we multiply the fractions by 8, but every single term, whether it's a fraction or not. So do not forget to multiply the 5 by 8 as well. When we go back to reduce, 8 over 8 is 1, times 3x is 3x. 8 over 4 is 2, times 3 is 6, equals 8 over 2 is 4, times 7 is 28x, minus 8 times 5 is 40. And now we have our equation with no fractions to solve. Because the variable is on both sides, we want to get it on one side before we get too far into this problem. We'll subtract 3x from both sides, moving the smaller one. That's going to give us 6 equals 25x minus 40. Continuing on then, we'll add the 40 to both sides, moving away from the x. This will give us 46 equals 25x. And then finally, to get the x alone, we'll divide both sides by the 25 to get x is equal to the fraction 46 over 25. The nice little trick that made these problems possible is we multiply each term by the least common denominator, and then reduce the denominators with that LCD to give us a new equation, which has no fractions.